this is Jam Punch, my name is George and I'm going to show you how to do this. That was a clip from a music video that I made years ago for a band called Fly Frankie Fly. And you can see the full video by clicking in the corner right now, so please check that out. There's just something quite cool that I think really highlights a certain moment, maybe in a song, do it to a beat, something like that. That was to lyrics, of course. Um, cool, so let's get into it. First step, you've got your clip here in the timeline. I've got this clip of a skateboarder here doing this cool trick. It's in slow motion. It doesn't have to be in slow motion. It can be anything. I wish I could skate. I'm so jealous. I, that is one of my regrets from growing up is I never learned how to skate. So seeing this kind of breaks my heart, but that's cool. Cool. So first step, you've got to duplicate it. Hold Alt and click and drag and let go so it's on top. There we go. We've got two of the exact same clip on top of each other. Find the first frame that you want to ghost. Okay, I'm going to go through here and I want this clip just as the board leaves the ground there. There we go, so I'm on there. Highlight the clip that you're going to ghost. Go up to the top to the edit menu and go down to add freeze frame. There we go. So now it suddenly stops with a big old freeze frame like that. Cool. Click and drag that to pull it out of the storyline there. So suddenly this clip will shoot back. Go and shoot back like that. And we've got this freeze frame on top. Now when you do that, FCPX does actually remove this frame from this storyline. So to make sure that it still syncs with the bottom clip, highlight the previous end and go one frame forward. Now it perfectly matches. Let's just make this still invisible for a moment by pressing V. There we go. And find the next frame that we want to ghost. So go forward, go forward. I like this bit where he's right in the middle there. I think that's pretty cool. So once again, edit, add freeze frame. And it's made it again. So just like before, click it up and keeping it in line with the point on the timeline of course so keeping it there and just like before highlight the end of the previous clip and go one frame forward to keep these two in sync cool once again make that invisible and let's find the final frame i'm going to choose the frame just as the board lands like that highlight the top one and once again add freeze frame cool so just like before click and drag that to the top and now we don't need this at all. We can completely delete the top duplicate. There we go. And make the third one invisible again. Cool. The main thing about ghosting is the fade out. The frame that you've frozen here, it needs to be only visible with full opacity for one frame. Otherwise it will make a real jarring effect. You might want to do that jarring effect. That's cool. But right now that is not what ghosting is. That's what at least I call it. I call it ghosting. Let's just make myself some more space here. There we go. So the way to make only one frame of full opacity and fade out the rest is to highlight it, click it, and press Control V. Brings up the video animation menu there. Double click on compositing and bring the final fade from the right hand side to the left as much as it can go. Now, as you can see, if I play, suddenly it's only on there for one frame and then it goes fades out. We can get rid of the video animation menu now, so Control V again, and adjust the length to hit the start of the next ghost, okay? So it looks like this now. Pretty cool already, cool. We're gonna leave these two for the moment because we're just on this first ghost at the moment. Now this is the fun bit. This is where you can apply any kind of effects you want. Um, in this music video, I applied the zoom there as you can see his face is really kind of zoomed in a kind of blurry zoom um, that worked for that for this though i want to try something different so let's apply one of these blurs okay maybe not that let's apply a prism blur so click and drag prism onto there you know how to do it of course um cool make it a bit more extreme maybe adjust the direction so it's with his jump like that that might look quite cool so let's see how that looks Nice, I think that's pretty cool. Now this is the easy bit. All you gotta do is highlight the clip that you've applied the effect to, copy, highlight the others, and then we're gonna paste the effects. So the best shortcut for that is to press Shift and Command and V. Brings up the Paste Attributes menu. Make sure the effects that you wanna copy across are all selected, there we go. And the compositing. The compositing is basically the fade. So that's what we wanna copy across as well. Retiming, don't need that. So paste, there we go. Now if we make these two visible again by pressing V, we'll see that the prism has been applied to all three of them. So let's just retime them just like before. And here we go. 
and that is ghosting in FCPX. I hope there's been a help to you everybody. My name is George, like I said, please subscribe to Jam Punch because I release a new tutorial every week. In the meantime, why don't you check out one of the movie recaps that I've done. I'll see you next week.